Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganit. My name is Samir Sardana and we are doing 200 months to coin question for SNAP. And in this video, I'll be taking the chapter of number system. Two chapter have already been cover, covered under this series. I have, I have uploaded questions of algebraic identities and factorial. So in this video, I'll be taking number system question and we'll be doing questions like uh, questions related to unit digit, remainders, Euler remainder theorem, and the last two digit in this video. Let's look at the first question, guys. Find the unit digit of triple seven raised to power triple three plus triple three raised to power triple two. See this, guys. These questions are based on the cyclicity. You should know that if I want to find out the unit digit of this expression, these two digit don't play any role, right? Unit digit depends on the unit digit, right? So basically, my question is finding out the unit digit of seven power triple three plus three power triple two. Now, you should know that seven cyclicity is four. How do I know seven cyclicity is four? Cyclicity means powers after which the unit digits start repeating themselves, right? Seven power one, unit digit is seven. Seven power two, unit digit is nine. Seven power three, unit digit is three. Seven power four, unit digit is one. Now, we know that in seven power five, we'll have the same unit digit as of seven power one. For 7 power 6, the unit digit would be 9 again. 7 power 7, unit digit would be 3. 7 power 8, unit digit would be 1. So you know that here, this is a cyclicity of 4. Right. So now, all I have to do is just divide the power with the cyclicity. Divide the power with the cyclicity and find out the remainder. Remainder in this case will be equal to 1. So the unit digit of this will be same as a unit digit of 7 power 1 because the power is of the format of 4k plus 1. It is giving you a remainder of 1 when divided by 4. And these powers, which are of the format of 4k plus 1, give you the unit digit as 7. Similarly here, 3 cyclicity, 3 power 1 we know is 3, 3 power 2 we know is 9, 3 power 3 we know is 7, 3 power 4 we know is 1. Cyclicity is of 4. So all you have to do is just divide triple 2 by cyclicity 4 and you find out the remainder as 2. 2 remainder means the power is of the format of 4k plus 2. And in this case, the unit digit would be 9. So I'll be getting a unit digit of 9 from this number, right? So 7 power 1 plus 9, the unit digit finally will be 7 plus 9, that is 6, right? So answer to the question is option C, everybody. This is the question's answer, right? Now, let's move on to the next question, everybody. This is a unit digit question, guys. Look at the next question. Question number two, find the unit digit of 19 power, 19 power, 19 power, 19, and so on. See, guys, do not get confused because of this large power. Reason being, try to find out the cyclicity. What is the 19 cyclicity? We know that the unit digit of this will be dependent on 9 raised to power 19, raised to power 19, raised to power 19, and so on. Right? Now, we know that 9 power 1 unit digit would be 9. 9 power 2 unit digit would be 1. And 9 power 3 unit digit will again be 9. So 9 power 4 unit digit will now be 1. So you see that the cyclicity of 9 is 2 only. That means if I have an odd power of 9, the unit digit would be 9. If I have an even power of 9, the unit digit would be 1. All you have to do is whether the power is even or odd. Look at this large number. You see that this is 19 power something and 19 power something can never be even. So can I say basically this number is having an odd power of 9? If this number is having an odd power of 9, straight away you can answer the question as 9, guys. E option would be the correct answer to the question. Question number 3, find the unit digit in the 100 position of this number. You see this, guys. We are not supposed to find out the unit digit. We are supposed to find out the digit in the 100th position. The last digit is called as a unit digit. Then ten, this is called as a 10th place digit. And the third digit from the last will be called as a 100th place digit. Now, this is the digit, right? This is the 100th place digits, guys, right? This is the 100th place digit, right? This is the unit digit. This is a unit digit. And this is a 10th place digit, right? Now, this is a digit we are supposed to find out. You see this here? If you look at this number carefully, this is actually a unit digit based question. You need a small modification in the question. 
Can I write down this number as 5 power 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3, 9, 9, 8? Yes, I can write it down. Now you see that 5 power 2 into 2 power 2 will become 10 power 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3, 9, 9, 8. Now, whatever is the value of this number, when I am multiplying this number with 100, the unit digit will become 0, 10th place becomes 0. The 100th place digit will actually be the unit digit of this number. So basically, we are supposed to find out the unit digit, but in this question, we are supposed to find out the unit digit of this number. Now, 2 raised to power 3, 9, 9, 8 unit digit. You see that again, look for the cyclicity of two, two cyclicity is again four. You should know this. If you don't know that, you can immediately drive it. Uh, two power one is two, two power two is four, two power three is six. You can easily drive it as two power four, two power three is eight, two power four is six, right? Again, two power five will now be equal to two. Unit digit will be again be two. So two power six will be four and so on. So you see that cyclicity is four. All you have to do is divide the power with the cyclicity 4 and find out the remainder as 2. Remainder 2 means the unit digit will be same as 2 power 2. The unit digit of this number will be same as 2 power 2 unit digit and 2 power 2 unit digit is 4. So the answer to the question is 4. Because the unit digit of this number is 4 and now this large number with the unit digit of 4 when multiplied with 100 will give you the 100 place digit as 4 only, right? So C option would be the correct answer to the question. Right. Now here we have the last two digit of 2 power 993. I, I heard that these type of questions are also coming in NMAT exam. So you can expect questions like this in SNAP also. Right. Uh, this last two digit guys is a standard rule straight away I'm telling you that any number which is 2 raised to power 10 multiplied by an E1 number, this last two digit of this will always be 76. 2 raised to power 10 multiplied Light by odd, the last two digit will always be 24. Okay. If you forget, let's say in exam, you should know that 2 power 10 is 1024. Now you see that this number is 10 multiplied by 1. So this is an odd multiple of 10. Odd multiple of 10 will give you 24 as a last two digit. Even multiple will be the 76 as a last two digit. Keep this in mind. If you know this, you can straight away answer the question. Find the last two digit of this. This can be written as 2 power 990 multiplied by 2 power 3. Now, this is 2 raised to power 10 into 99 multiplied by 2 power 3 is 8. Now, this number is an odd value. Now, odd value means the last two digit of this number will be 24. Right? Using this rule. And this when multiplied by 8 will give you the last two digit as 92. That's it. This is the correct answer question. If you know the rule, you can easily answer it. Finding out the last two digit of this number. Again, let me tell you another rule. For the last two digit, if you have any number which is having 1 at the last digit here, 1 raised to power any number, right, with B, you see that unit digit of all these number, unit digit of all these number which are having one at its unit digit will be last two digit of all the numbers with the unit digit being one, unit digit will become one and the tens place digit will become the multiplication of A and B, right? Unit digit will be one and the tens place will be A into B. For example, if I ask you to find out the unit digit of three, four, two, one raised to power three, four, three, six. Then what you can do is unit digit will be 1 and the tens place digit will be 2 into 6, that is 12, that is 2, right? 2 into 6, 12, unit digit of 12 will come at the tens place of this. So 21 will be the answer to the question I want, okay? Now, how can I solve this question using this method? See that any odd number will can easily give you 1 at its unit digit, right? We know that 19 square is 361. So can I write down this number as 19 power 2 raised to power 2, 2, 2 multiplied by 19 power 1. Now 19 power 2 is 361. 361 raised to power triple 2 multiplied by 19 power 1. Now we know that unit digit is 1, right? 10 split digit would be 6 into 2, 12, right? 2, that means now 21 into 19 will give you the answer. Now what is 21 into 19? 320 into 19 is 380. So 21 into 90 would be 380 plus 9, that is 399. So you straight away say the answer would be 99. 
right? The last two digit of this number would be 99. This is how you're supposed to solve. Now let's do one more question like this. This is slightly higher level of difficulty, but you can easily solve it. 88 raised to power 88. Can I write down this number as eight multiplied by 11 raised to power 88? Now both of the rules that we have used will be used, will be used in this question. Now you see that this number is eight power 88 multiplied by 11 power 88. Now eight is two power three, two power three raised to power 88. Try to write down every even number in terms of powers of two and the rule number one will straight away give you the answer. Now this is 240 plus 24, that is 264 multiplied by 11 power 88. Now this is two raised to power 10 into 26, 260 multiplied by two power four multiplied by 11 power 88. Now apply all the rules. We know that 10 multiplied by even number will give you the unit digit as 76, two power four is 16, multiplied by 11 power 88. Unit digit would be one, tens place would be one into 885, right? Now we just need to see what is 76 into 16 multiplied by 81. 16 into six is 96, nine will be carried forward. 16 into seven is 112, 112 plus nine is again uh, one to one. So the both of these two number will give the last two digit as 16. Our concern is only with the last two digits. Now 16 into 81, do it again. 16 into 16 to 1, 16, 1 will be carried forward. 16 into 8 is uh, 128, 128 plus 1 would be 129. So just write down the unit digit. 96 will be the correct answer the question is, right? That's question number six for you. Is the next question, question number seven of this series, right? Of this chapter. Find the remainder when this whole number is divided by 11. See this, guys. I'll tell you the standard rule of solving all this type of question. If you have a very large number, but you see that there's a pattern being followed. All these numbers are three-digit number, and they are the consecutive numbers, still 900. So in all these questions, what you should do is just find out a power of 10, a power of 10, which when divided by 11, give you a remainder of either plus one, or minus one, right? Do just do that, right? Now we know that 10 power two is 99, right? 10 power two is 99, right? That is 100 upon uh, 10 power two when divided by 10 power two when divided by 11 will give you a remainder of one, okay? If I divide 10 power three, by 11, the remainder should be what? 10 power three would be 1000. 1000 when divided by 11 would be, will be giving a remainder of minus one. You see that here? Why I'm taking 10 power three? The reason I'm taking 10 power three is in the question here, I have three digit numbers, which are the consecutive numbers. Now, if, if I'm getting a minus one remainder, then all you have to do is all you have to do is just start making the pairs of three digit numbers 101, 102, 103, 104, and so on, 899 and 900. From the last three digits, start making the pairing of three three digit numbers. And because this remainder is minus one, apply the, apply the alternate sign with all these values, right? Right? If it would have been plus one, we would have used plus one, plus only throughout three digit numbers, right? Now, now just do the addition. You see that if the number N is greater than or equal to 101 and less than or equal to 900, total numbers, how many numbers are there? 900 minus 101 plus one, right? Seven, so there are total 800 three digit numbers. Now, when I'm making the pairing, when I'm making the pairing of these numbers, you see that I'm getting a remainder of one here. I'm getting a remainder of one here and here. So see that every two pairs will be giving me a remainder of one. Total 800 pairs, total 800 digits, 800 numbers. I'm pairing them with two numbers in one pair. Total will be 400 pairs. Every pair is giving me a remainder of one. So final remainder would be 400 and then divided by 11, right? Which you know that 
which you know that 400 by 11, what is the remainder if I divide 400 by 11? Again, you see that 10 power 2 and divide by 11 give you a remainder of 1. You could have used this rule also, right? Let me explain the concept to you here. I'll explain it to you the concept here. The plus 1 remainder tell me that after 2 digits, why 2 digits? Because power of 10 is 2 here. I need to apply the plus sign. All plus. If it would have been minus, I will apply plus and minus automatically. So 400 will give me the remainder of 4 plus double zero, that is a remainder of 4. So answer to the question will be 4, everybody. This is the correct answer to the question, right? Now let's move on to the next question. Let me give you another example like this. For example, here in this case, you can see that we are supposed to find out the remainder when 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, up to 300 digit is divided by triple 9. So what we are supposed to do, see this, guys up to 300 digits, right? We know that 10 power 3, 10 power 3, 10 power 3 is when divided by triple nine will give you a remainder of, will give you, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 power 3 will, when divided by triple nine will give you a remainder of four, right? 10 power 3, thousand when divided by triple nine will give you a remainder of one. Now, in this case, we are supposed to find out, we look, try to look for some pattern here in the series, guys, right? You see that these two digit numbers are getting repeated. These two number digits are getting repeated. What we can do is, right, we can use, we can, we have to use a Chinese remainder theorem to answer this question, right? We know that triple nine can be written as nine into triple one, which is 27 into 37, no. That will also be lengthy. Let's try to look for some alternative ways. Okay. Try to find out a power of 10. Right, right. We can do this. See this, guys. 10 power 3 when divided by triple 9 will give you a remainder of plus 1. 10 power 6 when divided by triple 9 will give you a remainder of 1 again. Right. So these 300 digits, right, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, right? 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, right? These are total 600 digits, right? I know that 10 power 6 when divided by triple 9 will give you a remainder of 1. Can I do the pairing of 6 digits? Can I make them a pairing of 6 digits? And because 10 power 6 when divided by triple 9 give you a remainder of 1, that's why I'm combining a group of 6 digits, right? And because its remainder is plus one, so I will assign the plus sign to all this, right? Okay, so if you don't know this concept on this channel, you'll find a video of divisibility rule where all the reasons behind it have to be discussed, right? If you don't concepts, the channel already a divisibility rule ka video I uploaded, which is why all the rules reasons ke saath explain why you are using plus sign and why you are minus sign, use kar hai, right? Okay. This is a 200 point question series. I'm supposed to cover all the maximum type of questions, right? So, uh, uh, theory ka thoda bhot part aap separate video se kar sakte ho, right? Uh, I'm just trying to cover 200 different type of questions covering all concepts here, right? So, see this guys, 300 digits mein 6, 6 ka pairing jab aap karoge, when you will make a pair of 6 each, right? Total, there will be 50 such pairs. So, my question now become 2, 4, 2, 2, 4, 2, right? Is it clear? 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, sorry. Uh, 6 digit would be 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, right? Multiplied by, I have 50 such pairs. Now, this is the number I'm supposed to divide by triple nine. You can again apply this rule. Now, you see that 10 power 3 also when divided by triple nine give you a remainder of 1. So, just make it as 3 digit. Assign a plus sign here. Assign a plus sign here. This become. 4 plus 2, 6, 4 plus 2, 6, 4 plus 2, 6, triple 6 multiplied by 50 when divided by triple 9. Find out the remainder. This is what we are supposed to do now. Now, this question reduced to this one, right? Triple 6 into 550, right? How can we do this question? We need to do the multiplication, all right? Uh, 6 into 5, uh, uh, and, and to do it in a better way to reduce the calculation, what you can do is just divide the number by 3. Or you can also divide the number by 9. Right. Or simply just multiply it. 6 into 5, 30. 6 into 5, 30. 
Right, double three, double three, zero. Now just divide the number by triple nine and find out the remainder, right? Uh, you can see that the first value would be three, nine into three, 27, nine into three, 27 plus two, 29, 29, right? 13 minus seven, four, 12 minus nine, 13 minus seven would be six, 12 minus nine would be three, Right, 12 minus 9 would be 3 again, right? Okay. Now divide it again by 3, right? We will get 2, 9, 9, 7, and that's the final answer, guys, right? 10 minus 7 would be 3, and this would be 5. 15 minus 9 would be 5. 15 minus 9 would be 6. And here I'll have twelve minus nine would be three sixty three. Okay, let's check the calculation. Are we making any calculation error? Two four two plus two four two six six six, and this will give us fifty pairs. That is correct. Six into five thirty. Okay, the product will not be triple three zero, it will be triple three double zero, right? It will be triple three double zero. So let's do the correction here. It's just a multiplication. Okay, let's do this part again. We did the product wrong. Okay. So on three, this would be 27, 29, 10 minus seven is three, and 12 minus nine is also three. And this is three again, right? Right, so divide again, 2997, right? The remainder will again be triple three. So this is the correct answer, guys. Option A is the correct answer to the question, right? So guys, these are the eight questions, right? Form the basic remainder theorems and unit digit and the last two digit, right? I'll be uploading part two of number system where I'll be taking questions of Euler remainder theorem, Wilson remainder theorem, and the other basic remainder theorems, right? Uh, so till now, you can do these eight questions. Subscribe to the channel to access 100 reasoning ability questions for SNAP and OMATs. Right on the channel, easy to press me. There's already a video, compiled video of 100 reasoning ability question that will really help you for SNAP and other MD and six sometimes, right? Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please share it with all of your friends. Thanks a lot.